All right, let's take a look at what I've packed in the Pelican 1510. Sometimes it's referred to as the 1514. Uh, the 14 is when it has padded dividers in it, I think. But basically it's the 1510 hard, side, hard sided case from Pelican. Let's take a look at what I've used for this specific shoot. Here's the credentials and the schedule from the last uh, event I shot. It was a cheer event in Florida, so I had specific reasons to take this specific gear. We'll start out with right here. I've got one body, uh, Mark II. Right here I have another body, the Mark II N. So you're going to be able to get two pro bodies in the space. You could get more obviously, but you can get at least two with this configuration. So I'm certain you could get like a 7D with a grip or some, some of those kind of bodies. I've got, on top I've got some extra things like right here I've got a a flashlight that you can put on your head to free up your hands if you've got to get access to the gear and it's dark which it frequently is at these events or sometimes this case goes underneath the stands or back behind out of the way where it's dark and hard to see so I always carry some type of flashlight with me also I have just a cloth towel on top here of the 70 to 200 you'll see I have the 70 to 200 here horizontally underneath here I have another microfiber cloth that's good for cleaning the lenses or helping clean things off you need it. It also, I put it underneath the 7200 right back here so it gives it a little extra padding. You'll notice in these cases that back here you have the wheel wells are taking up a little bit of space. Those aren't up in these corners, they're just in this corner. So rather than put the 7200 like this where that wheel well is, I put it like this. That wheel well kind of fits right in here. And with this, this microfiber cloth, it gives a little extra padding and space for the wheel well. So that's why I've configured it like this. Continuing on up here, I have a 70 or 2470 Canon. You can also get um, 1635 in the same space. Up here, I have space for a point and shoot and a Canon angle finder. Again, this is for this specific shoot I brought the angle finder and didn't need the point and shoot but I usually carry one with me in this same space up here you would be able to get a fisheye or something like a 51.8 if you needed to on up in the corner space I have some gaffer tape that I've rolled onto I don't remember what this was but always you don't need a whole roll of gaffer tape just put some on something like a film canister or something else that you've always got some I've got a pin I've got a Targus uh, lock system probably doesn't do much good, but it might slow somebody down got some gum And I've got some Advil Which comes in handy for a long day of shooting up here in the main compartment. I have two pocket wizards Got a compact flash card. Here's the strap for one of the bodies that I took off sometimes I will take the strap off and lay it here like this it just offers a little more padding for for gear and it's easier to pack when I've got it laying there and then and then I've got the shorter strap on the body I've got a wrist strap for just soreness I've got three batteries plus I'll have two in the body so I've got a total of five batteries that are gonna fit I have a cable management tin from think tank it's got all the pocket wizards cable it's got the AC power for the battery charger a remote trigger again for this specific shoot I wanted to be able to have a remote I've got a small ball head fitted in there we've all got extra dividers from cases we've bought over the years so I put a divider in here and underneath that is the battery charger itself wouldn't necessarily have to have it but rather than throwing these batteries on top or the pocket wizards bouncing around rubbing I just threw the pad in there and you're good to go then underneath the whole tray pull that out I've got some old postcards from a different shoot this is a schedule from the previous day there's the plate the remote floor plate Mark Watkins is a guy that hangs around the Fred Miranda forums he makes these I think it's a really good plate. It's got a lot of handles on it. It's got different places to, to set your stuff up. But I put that underneath the uh, padded divider. It's just a nice, convenient way to, 
to get it out of the way and, and take it with you. I also carry some twist ties or cable locks or whatever your uh, twist locks or I don't know whatever you want to call them but I'll have a couple of these in the bag. The reason I carry this is if I'm boarding the plane and a flight attendant or somebody in the crew tells me I can't carry this on I'll pull these out and go ahead and zip lock these uh, the case and let the baggage handlers take it. Sure they could cut these off it's not a TSA approved item by any means but generally if a baggage handler gets this and is taking it right into the plane at the gate or at the door of the plane they're probably not going to mess with taking these off because we've already gone through TSA. You could get TSA approved locks and do the same thing but I just figured it helps secure it a little bit more if I need to. So that's the 1510 the way I configured it for this particular shoot. Again uh, there's a ton of different ways to configure it so next time I go out on a different shoot have it configured differently I'll probably put together a video for that. I appreciate you checking out these videos and uh, subscribe to my channel. We'll see what we can come up with down the road. Happy shooting.